traveling through another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are that of imagination. Your next stop, the Twilight Zone. Crash Course Radio. 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 We are your hosts, Kevin Crash. And I'm Steve. And Sly Cat is over there somewhere. He's not here yet. He's on his way, though. I keep seeing ghosts in here. Did oh, you yeah? see that one coming in? Yeah. There's a couple it's that left. fitting. A little bit, too. So Weird. Yeah, and I'm having headphone issues, but not a big deal. I just have to turn it down. It's plugged in over here. It's out of my reach, so I'll get to it. Eek. Um, but how was your week? My week's been great. Really? Tomorrow's Halloween, so it's even better. Yeah, best time of year. Yeah, but um, let's let's. I've had one of those weeks. Uh, yeah. Today they're putting in um, or they're, tomorrow they're cleaning carpets in my house. So today I was moving furniture all out of the living room. So now it looks like a brand new house with no furniture because ah. all of it's piled in my garage and the kitchen. Is it refreshing when you walk in and look? No, at now it? I look and go. I look and go. Oh, it's a big empty house <laughs> now. Uh, tomorrow I got to move all the furniture back in after they finish cleaning carpets. Well, it's not flooding. It's not raining That's inside true. the room, so it's so good. it's almost done. But they still got to recarpet the office, the old internet studio office uh, there. Out damn standing. So, woot woot. Yeah. yeah. So that that's been my week. Oh, and then uh, get this one. This is almost like uh, my dog ate it story. It's about as lame. But I went to go get some cash out of the ATM on that very windy day the other day. Yeah. Tornado. And yeah, pulled in. It's one of the drive-ins where or drive-through ones where the money comes out and is all exposed. When it went out in, in my hand, I guess I didn't have that good of a grip on it. Wasn't expecting a huge gust of wind, and close to two hundred dollars in twenties went flying out of my hand and straight up in the air. And it looked like it went over the Longhorn Casino. So if anyone's in that area and finds twenties, I hope you need it. You didn't go running after it. No. No. <laughs> I, I, I there's no no it just took off. Oh, that gone. sucks! I'm watching it disappear, flying over a building and trees while I'm sitting there going, no. Oh, that's wow. That's ew. Then having to call the landlord and explain it, and they're all, "Are you blowing smoke?" And <laughs> it's like I, it might as well have been. Well, I had it, but the dog ate it. That oh, lame. and there's video coverage of that. Huh? There's video coverage of that. Just have them call them. Maybe. Well, I, well, I know the, the the video coverage usually at an ATM is aimed right at your face. So they'll just see my face going, <gasps> complete horror. And then a lot of loud profanity to follow <laughs> and a little bit of banging on a steering wheel and then shaking my head and driving away. <laughs> so that's that's the only Sorry, bro. video coverage you're going to get on that. If they do, it's probably make it for one of those funny video shows. or but, but. God, that sucks. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. But it is our Halloween show, so that was my scary moment of all week. Yeah. But we'll play our first song.
do without a seat behind it? I showed him. I'm a dead man. There we go with the swing tips doing a grim grinning ghost. You all know that from the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland. Uh, yeah. yeah. I remember that. Mm-hmm. You know if you ask when you get off that ride that you want your death certificate, you can get a death certificate. Yeah. Not too many people know that. Yeah. You, make sure you ask uh, one of the, the the cast members that is working the Haunted Mansion. Yeah. One of my good friends told me that this week. So, mm-hmm. Good deal. No. I want one. I have a whole list, but I'm, I'm not going to do it on this show of hidden things you can, that not many people know at Disneyland or something also about the the Indiana Jones ride and all sorts of other stuff, which awesome. is kind of cool. Fill me in. Yeah, we'll do that probably the next show. Who knows? Yeah, well, I guess I'm going to go into some celebrity birthdays. Today is October 30th, the day before Halloween, but we're not on tomorrow, so we got some Halloween birthdays too. So, but I have... Um, Adam The Edge Copeland turns 39. He is known as a wrestler in WWE, and he was also in Highlander Endgame in one of the flashback scenes where he was trying to hit um, Connor. I was a Connor or Duncan McCod, one of the two with a rock, a big rock. And I've never seen any Highlanders, so really, I'm out of the loop. Hmm. Well, you'll know this one. Henry Winkler Vaughn. turned 67 today. Hey. Hey. And uh, Grace Slick turned 73 from Jefferson Airplane and Starship. White Rabbit. Mm-hmm. And we built this city on rock and roll, that nightmare. Ew. That you hear it once, you can't get out of your head for a day. Talk about garbage. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, Cle- Clements Posey, I guess it's Poisey or Posey. She turns 30. She was known as uh, Fleur Delacour ah, in the Harry Potter series. I never I've watched an one. episode of Harry Potter. I'm a fan of that one. Mm-hmm. And we have uh, Gavin. Um, Gavin Rossdale turns 47. He's the Fear no talent horrible band clown Bush. shoes um, who landed Gwen Stefani. Wow. I thought he was dead. I think his career is. That's good. How about Harry Hamlin? You, you know who he is, don't you? Yes. Played Perseus in the original Clash of the Titans? Yes. Yeah, he turns um, 61. For some reason, I thought he would be just a little bit older. And um, actor and impressionist Kevin Pollock is 55 today. Um... 
Ed Lauder was 74. He died a week ago, and he was in. A, he played the coach in Not Another Teen Movie. Um, Chris Slade turned 66. He's the former drummer from ACDC. And that's all the ones for today. But I have some from yesterday, which is October 29th. Uh, uh, what is... Oh, uh, uh, Dan Castel... Kast- I, I can't pronounce that. Uh, but his he's the voice of Homer Simpson. Castellano. Yeah, okay. I can't even read my own writing here. The Simpsons. Yes. Yay. Uh, people. Winona Ryder turns 41. She was in Beetlejuice and all sorts of other stuff, and she was caught shoplifting at one point. <laughs> um, Richard Dreyfus turns 65. Him. Jaws. And <laughs> and then Mr. I'm Holl- Richard Dreyfus. Yeah, Mr. Holland's Opus, the animated series. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about Bob? Yeah. And uh, Bob Ross... From the joy of painting, happy trees celebrating from the grave. <laughs> so, those are for that's the honorable mentions from the 29th. Now, the Halloween birthdays. Um, Willow Smith, um, which is ah. Will Smith's daughter, who had that what was that song she was doing? Um, the, the, something about whip her hair, hair or something. Yeah, yeah. My head. yeah. Her name's Willow, yeah, Willow. That's kind of um, cool. What is this? Christopher Columbus is celebrating from beyond the grave. Then he died in 1506. Rob Van Winkle, hey. or Vanilla Ice, no ice, is 45. Whoa. Rob Schneider is 49, the comedian who's known to say, you can do it, and all the Adam Sandler movies. Also celebrating beyond the grave... John Candy. Oh, I love. John I miss Candy. that guy. He died in 1994. I do miss him a lot. And here's oh, here's one for you. the The director Peter Jackson turns 51. Wow. So. And I, I I actually have another honorable mention. I think her party is still going on. Our own Crash Force. Michelle of a good time. Birthday was on the 26. Oh, happy yeah. birthday! Yes. Happy birthday, yes. Michelle. And I think. Michelle is having the best party. Yeah, that's the one I'd go to. Yeah, yeah. me too. She's still partying. Yeah, a matter of fact, the party moved to L.A. She's going to be spending Hall- Halloween in California, I believe. Whoa. And Lucky her, man. Yeah. Well, she spent her birthday doing the zombie walk. Wow. And her, her costume was pretty... Zombie-ish? Pretty damn cool looking. I was like, wow, she really outdid herself. And that's, that's great. Good so, job. Yeah, well, those are the celebrity birthdays. Um, but now that we talked about people that are celebrating their lives, all right, let's how about the people that are mm. unfortunately died in the past week? Here we go. Yeah. Um, Mar- Marcia Wallace died at the age of 70. She was known for being the voice of Edna Krabappel on The Simpsons. Oh. No. And she was, um, also uh, the, the secretary in, um, um, Newhart, the Bob Newhart show. Oh. Yeah, the mm-hmm. Bob Newhart show. That's classic. They still have yet to say what the you know, uh, what the death was all about, like what she died of. Mm-hmm. And then we had one that shocked the rock world just uh, the other day. Lou Reed, Lou Reed mm. died at seventy one. Yeah, rock you- pioneer from the Velvet Underground, and also an impressive solo career. Didn't he just work with Metallica too? He I did believe not so. Work Metallica too. <clears throat> Yes, uh, he was. Uh, yeah, matter of fact, he was. And then, um, well, he had a liver transplant or tr- transplant last May, mm. and I think it was also mm. I think that it, it was like liver failure or something that that gave him the dirt nap. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Rest in peace, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's my Wednesday slab. Did it do? Mm-hmm. So. um... I don't know. Should we cheer everybody up with another song? You should. Yeah, I'm kind of down. Let's cheer them up. Okay. Let's do it. And... Come out to socialize. Now 
psych. Well, that was uh, the ghost of the machine there. Um, that's playing the same song over and over again here. Kind of looked like the, that ghost again I was talking about. Yeah, that one that came walking in and kinda out. Kind of looks like Roger Ebert. That's what I thought it was. Okay. Well, let's see if we can get this right. The, <laughs> and roll it. Can Mary fry some fish, Mama? I'm as hungry as can be. Oh Lordy, how I wish, Mama, that you could keep the baby quiet, 'cause my head is killing me. I saw my ex again last night, Mama. She was at the dance at Miller's store. She was with that Jackie White. Mama, I killed them both, and they're buried under Jenkins sycamore. You think I'm psycho, don't you, Mama? Mama, pour me a cup. You think I'm psycho, don't you, Mama? You'd better let 'em lock me up. On his pub, mama, 'cause I might squeeze him too tight. Having crazy dreams again, mama. So let me tell you about last night. I woke up in Johnny's room, mama, standing right there by his bed. With my hands around his throat, Mama, wishing both of us were dead. Think I'm psycho, don't you, Mama? I just killed Johnny's pup. Think I'm psycho, don't you, Mama? You'd better let him lock me up. go if anyone didn't know that's on the remake of psycho with vince vaughn the very horrible remake the worthless pathetic stupid remake actually i think he did a pretty decent job just it's more actually he wasn't that it's the cinematography was very close to original psycho but besides it being in color yeah Mm -hmm. well i told you he was here was that that uh roger ebert guy yeah and he's he's a guest on the show this week so you got out the ouija board i did 
and he showed up. So, Roger Ebert, thanks for coming to the show. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. Not a problem, man. Uh, what you been up to? Where is Siskel's? Isn't he dead too? That turd owes me five bucks and some popcorn. I am going to smack him upside his tether head till I hear a clap. Whoa. Wow. A bit angry there. He sound, yeah, kind of mad. Is the balcony still closed? It's been a while since I've been there. That movie was so bad it gave me cancer. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh, that was grim. Yeah. That was, whoa. I didn't know you were going to go there, but uh, thanks for coming to the show this week, and I know it's kind of short for you, but um, thanks for coming. And I will see you at the movies. I give this show two thumbs up. Well, thanks, man. Oh, yeah, I yeah. appreciate that. Was cool. that. Thank yeah. you. That's cool. A good guy. Wow. Yeah, I think what we what we should do is hold a little bit of a contest that, um, to send all your uh, emails to Kevin at Crash Force Radio, and we'll post them on the site. But take your best face pictures, doing a Roger Ebert face. Yeah, a Roger Ebert impression. I was yeah. looking for a mask too. Yeah. Because I tried to get him here and he came, so sorry yeah. I couldn't wear your face. Yeah, I don't know what it's like. Yeah, weird, weird face. Yeah. Sly, you got a, a, a Roger Ebert face? Uh, I don't know. Maybe in the morning when I wake up. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's got that in the morning. After, <laughs> after recess tomorrow. Yeah, after the head go ahead. Yeah. Well, thanks for Roger <laughs> how, how about you, Emily? Do you have a, a Roger Ebert person? No? No? Okay. Well. How about you, Jackie? Uh, yeah, no. No? No. Okay. Roger Ebert, do you have one? <laughs> 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 wow, he took off, man. <laughs> no, he just just went phew, into yeah. a little cloud of ectoplasmic residue. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we promised for the past couple of weeks news today regarding the new Star Wars yeah. Episode 7. And myself and Steve both were just waiting and waiting and waiting all day for the star wars camp to um say something yeah and we got nothing no we did get something but it wasn't what anyone was expecting they decided to play a trailer or put up a new trailer for the re-release of star wars the of the original one still back in like was it the one that the one that came out in like 80 yeah 80 or 81 something like that it's like oh thanks well they re-released it like five times yeah but this was the first of the re-release. It wasn't the re-re-re-re-release. Yeah. I or, think the first re-release is when they had a, a New Hope put on the top. Yeah. The crawl. Because when it first came out, it wasn't a New Hope. It just said Star Wars. Yeah, like it should be called. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, Sorry, fanboys. Yeah, especially now that uh, this today is actually the date or year that Disney purchased from Lucas. Yeah. The Star Wars franchise, everything. All Lucasfilm, everything they own. And it's been a year, and they haven't said anything. And a writer left. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mike Arndt left. Yes. So, yeah. hopefully so. it's not dead in the water. Oh, I'm sure it's not dead in the water, but still. It's like, come on. It's like everybody's sitting there waiting. They've, and they know it. So it's back to Comic-Con. Yeah. Curse you, Disney. Yeah. yeah. I'm supposed to hear something <laughs> since D23, and yeah, you have still nothing. nothing. Yeah. Jerks. This is terrible. Yeah. I- idiocracy. Yeah, well, I do have... Get back to the topic of Halloween. Um, um, I just got a text from Dio, a matter of fact. And he's coming in with... Uh, uh, another thing I can't confirm, because it's coming through the text, but he said Star Wars is supposed to be filmed in New Mexico. What? Yeah, but uh, I, it's, again, it's a rumor. I don't know. He's in New Mexico and in the movie industry, so he might have some inside information, but we don't know. We, we can't confirm anything since Disney's quiet about it. Keep us posted. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but back to Halloween. Yay. I have a list of ten treats that sucks Check a treat. to give kids. Uh, things that guarantee your house getting egged or toilet papered. <laughs> Baloneyed. <laughs> Baloneyed, yeah. Or um, your pumpkins being smashed. Mm-hmm. Plant pots missing, you know. Well, this is uh, the 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 ten. Or I'll start with ten, going down to one. Ten being the worst here. Coupon booklets. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Nine. Apples. 
Oh, yeah. No apples. Eight juice boxes. Seven religious garbage. You know, the ones that are, it's a satanic holiday. It's a pagan holiday. Blah, 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 blah. Here's a pamphlet. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm five. Yeah. I don't it's like, really you know what? I don't mind your religious stuff. Just don't push it on our kids. Please. Yeah. Six stickers of any sort. Five pennies. That's usually when you come to old people's house and they hand like four or five pennies. Like, oh, thanks. Something to weigh down the, the pumpkin or that little plastic pumpkin. So. <laughs> Four Halloween shaped erasers. Weak. Whoa. Three water bottles. That's crazy. Now, Super weak. Two, this kind of goes in with the other one, the Halloween erasers, but pencils or school supplies. Kids don't want to be re- rem- um, reminded anything of school. That sounds fun. And the number one bo- or thing that, that just will cause a, a, a child to cry wearing their costume and wreck all their face paint or even tear up their mask. Box of raisins. <laughs> Kids uh, do not like raisins. Just, I know you're trying to be healthy, but no. no. Yeah. All Please don't. Want, all they want is candy, candy, candy. That's it. That's it. See, me and my brother used to sit on the porch and yeah. get like, those boxes of, like Junior Mints. Or like nerds, and we'd eat the candy and just put little pebbles of rocks in it. Yeah. <laughs> That's I, what we used to do. I used to love nerds, too. Nerds? Mm. Mm-hmm. Gosh. Heaven in a box. Yeah. But uh, this actually came out in the news today. Um, also Halloween-related. There's a lady in Fargo, North Dakota, that is giving a little bit of candy out. But to the chunky child is getting a hand, uh, a note that she Xeroxed and folded up for the mother to read. I have what is said on that note, Whoa. and it is the following. Happy Halloween and happy holidays, neighbor. You are probably wondering why your child has this note. Have you ever heard of the saying, it takes a village to raise a child? I'm disappointed in the village, Fargo, Moorhead, West Fargo. <laughs> your child is, in my opinion, moderately obese, and should not be consuming sugar and treats to the extent of some children this Halloween season. My hope is that you will step up as a parent and ra- ration candy this Halloween and not allow your a child to continue with these unhealthy eating habits. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Then comes the eggs. Well, that'll be the next day. <laughs> well, you know there's going to be not only <laughs> eggs, but there's going to be... Uh, Parents trying to sue, right. going, oh, they wrecked Halloween for my kid because he was, this is, my this kid was been told he was fat. Wow. Yeah, but yeah, she, she was on a on TV and a radio show in uh, Fargo explaining this, and she already got a backlash, but she's still saying, no, I'm going to do this. Mm. It's my personal crusade against obese children. How come when we were kids, nothing had to be super safe? No. Everything today, it's like you got to hold their hand for everything. Right. Mm-hmm. It can't be a kid. My dad, my dad told me to go outside and play with a stick. Right. Yeah. Ain't I, I used to drink from the garden hose. Yeah. You get a razor blade in your apple, you just spit it out and yeah. it should be an apple. It was, it was no big deal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's survival of the fittest. Yeah. Yeah. The weeding out the weak. Yeah. Yeah. If you can't figure out how to uh, eat a Halloween candy and spit out the razor blades or the staple or whatever they have in there. You know what? We don't need you. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Sorry, kids. You got it. You got it horrible these days. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, we'll be right back after this. Let's go. Extruded and for the crown and baked into cakes, but you passed around. 
There we go with the Squirrel Nut Zippers. Hell. Is that their only album that they had, too? You know, I have no idea. It's a good song. It, yeah, it's a great song. We've played it here before. I couldn't wait for Halloween, so I just had that to play that a couple months ago. I think it was summertime. Very good choice. Beginning of the summer. One of those shows. But tonight, for those not going to recess, I know a lot of people are going there. Yeah. But there's gonna, it's like Sly from Crash Force and Recess is going to be there. But I'm not going to recess tonight. I'm sorry. No, I understand. But um, over at uh, Zodi's Bar tonight, Johnny Vegas is from Johnny Vegas Grill is going to be hosting a Halloween party, which is going to have uh, Riviera Day Shift cocktail waitresses there, food specials from Johnny Vegas Grill, drink specials, and a costume contest. And fried pickles. And a live <laughs> DJ. <laughs> It's not going to be anyone nowhere near DJ DJ Rafiki uh-huh. or even DJ Touchstone, but I don't know who it is, but he'll be there. Okay. And, cool. um, yeah, there is a costume contest, so there's going to be all sorts of stuff, probably prizes, everything, um, and Johnny Vegas food. Fried pickles. Fried pickles. Fried mac and cheese bites. That would get me there in a heartbeat. Mm-hmm. You should have dressed up as a fried pickle. I should have been, man. You are with you. Google that costume. <laughs> I still have a chance. I can get it sitting here overnight. <laughs> yeah. And uh, pizza quesadillas. Yeah, I haven't mm. had that yet. Johnny Vegas fries. Mm. Submarine sandwiches. Do we need to say any more? Oh, yes, we do. Okay. Okay. Johnny Vegas burger. <laughs> and uh, um, come on, think of something. They have good. Fried pickles? They have fried pickles, yes. Did, did we mention that already? But um, yeah, they have all sorts of stuff. All, they have corn dogs. What? You can go get a, a corn dog there. What? All sorts of stuff. Sweet potato fries, fried mushrooms, mm. fried ravioli, mozzarella sticks, all sorts of stuff. You can also get your, if you live around three miles radius, or if you throw them a little bit extra, they'll give you uh, maybe a couple miles more. But if you call the number uh, 702-570-5458, um, the, the delivery is free, but you have to have a minimum fifteen dollars order, and it's inside of Zodi's. If you don't want to go in, you can call the number, and Johnny Vegas or any of the other crew will come out with a big smiling face and give you your food. Do it, yes. What but you I have to lose? after the show, I'm driving straight home, putting on a Halloween costume, and coming back. So I will be in a costume there tonight. Great. That's gonna be. What are you great. going as? Uh, well, I'm, apparently, I, no, I'm not going to go as Roger Ebert, <laughs> but apparently, I'm bring, I'm going to be bringing back. Um, something I did a couple of years ago, Zombie Michael Jackson. Oh, I remember that. Mm-hmm. Grim. Yeah. So I, I I have to go and put on the makeup. I was going to come here to do the show like that, but I'm like it's radio. Right. It's no point. I, I am wearing a costume though. I'm a, it's like I'm wearing a I'm my zombie killing shirt. Yeah, that looks good. So I'm a zombie killer. Sweet. And uh, Sly, you came in dressed as a rapper. As a rapper. Yeah. And Steve, a gorilla. Yeah, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all I got, man. Mm-hmm. Well, let's play a song. This one's for uh, Rambling Chris Country out there. <sighs> I was sitting in the thirsty devil, one sheet hung to the wind. When the battling door streaked open and a stranger sauntered in. He moved his head from side to side and glared with a sunken eye I heard the spin of a rusty spur As he shook off the dreary night He lowered his hat and checked his gun and headed toward the bar He walked on up beside me, I knew he'd traveled far In a voice as thick as mud, he looked at the keep and said One shot of whiskey for myself And one for my new friend The people whispered hushed hello They seemed to be afraid As if the ghost had stood right up And walked out of its grave His face was shallow and dirty His skin like leather hide Sure he spoke like any man But something wasn't right So I twisted on my stool And turned to him and said Thanks sir but just say My chasing worms instead Round the shell creek, my way his eyes as cold as death. I picked the drink, she knocked it back. Hell strong against my head.
again. His lips broke back and words came forth, starting up the tale. And every face inside that bar, it turned a shade of pale. My name is Stan Green, and I died three years before. I shot a man to steal his drink. At least that's what they hung me for. Now I'm cursed to walk the earth and challenge every night. A man to match me drink for drink. Oh, bye. Drinking with the Living Dead. And um, it's about that time for...